Okay, so we've got our the two sides of our tree, or in your case a building or whatever it is you've decided to do to add to our sort of Hunderata landscape that we're going to be building. Um, and now we're going to start painting it. Now you will remember from your tracing that you invested time in copying out all the patterns, but you didn't then put it onto the cardboard relief. And I'm going to explain why in a second. Firstly, it, when you copy it out, it's, it's quite bumpy and it can be quite tricky. Um, and secondly, it's because of the way that we're going to paint them. Now, when you use your paints, you only want to put a small amount on the palette. Now, we have little pots of paint that you guys are going to be using. Um, make sure that you use the sticks to put the paint onto the palette. Don't contaminate the pots with different colours because it just means we have to throw it all away and it becomes a bit of a waste. But your class teacher is going to go through that with you. So a little bit of paint on the palette. Now, you can use the colours straight from the pot or you can mix them together. And that really depends on how your design is, is going to pan out. But what we're going to do is we're going to start by covering the whole thing in paint. What we don't want to be doing is to be painting individual sections because if you can't get the lines to meet up perfectly you can end up with gaps where you can see this brown cardboard underneath and it just doesn't look as nice as it could do. And we want to do this by starting with our lightest colour and working up. So I've got my design here next to me and my lightest colour on here is yellow. And it's pretty similar to this light yellow that I've got here so I'm going to use that to do my first coat and I'm just going to take that over the top of my cardboard. Now when you paint, you want to use your brush and use long, thin strokes, like so. And if you do it like this, you'll get lovely flat colour, like so. So I'm just going to quickly whiz through and paint these. So when you've done one on th that side, put that to one side and move on to the second one and then paint that. Don't flip that one over because if you do, you're obviously going to get paint all over the table. 